Jean-François Deco is chairman of the executive board and co-CEO of JC Deco. Uh, welcome to the Berenberg European Conference here at Penny Hill Park. Can we start by looking at the geographical areas of growth for the company in the medium term? Yes, I mean, we had a, um, a very strong brand in China and in some other emerging countries, which uh, means that now 33% of our revenues are coming from the emerging countries. Um, so it's a unique exposure in the media sector to those uh, fast developing countries. And obviously we want to enhance that position in some markets like Latin America. We acquired um, AUMEX uh, recently, which um, um, means that we are now number one in Latin America in the very strong developing geographies like uh, Colombia and Chile. Um, we um, acquired 25% of the largest company in our sector in Russia. We are now the partner of VTB, the second largest bank in, in Russia, in, in uh, a fast-growing market as well, uh, which is the second largest outdoor market in Europe. In Europe. Um, so, in a nutshell, I would say that um, emerging countries continue to be for us um, an area of uh, growth, but also the U.S. market, where we recently signed a 20-plus 10-year contract with the city of Chicago to deploy a state-of-the-art digital billboards, which will not only display um, uh, messages for advertisers, but also um, messages for the public, uh, like Amber Alert messages, um, which is an interesting way for the city of Chicago to communicate with uh, the um, car drivers going in and out of Chicago every day on the expressways. If we are able to replicate that um, Chicago deal, which is uh, the first time uh, in America that the city is, uh, allows uh, digital billboards on public land, on city property, then the U.S., which is still the largest media market in the world, can be a growth market as well for us. Let's take it back to Europe for a moment. What is the, the future for Billboard in Europe? Um, Billboard is our small, uh, smaller segment. Uh, split furniture is about 40, 44%. Transport is nearly 40%. So Billboard in, is less than, than, than 20% of our total sales. Uh, the future of Billboard in uh, Europe depends on how much consolidation we can drive in the sector. There are too many Billboards and too many Billboard companies left. Uh, UK is a good example where it's um, more consolidated now and also we are able to uh, convert many sites into digital. Uh, when you think of the M4 uh, from Heathrow uh, to uh, central London, um, now more than 60% of all the sites are digital. Um, digital means that you have more flexibility, you can do uh, message targeting as well, um, you can sell by the day, by the hour, which is uh, very interesting. We had recently the Burberry fashion show live on all the panels on, on, on the Cromer Road, on the M4, and we've also online reaction from the customers and putting up their tweets on our digital billboards. And that's, that's how the, the billboard industry needs to evolve in Europe. Less is more. Consolidation is important, um, and that's what we need in markets like, for example, like in France. But the regulations in, in, in those markets is not where it is in the UK, so we need also to convince the regulator to allow uh, more digital billboards in those markets in return for less, um, less panels, which I think is going to be a win-win situation. Jean-François Deco, thank you for joining us. Thank you.